Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have something cool to show you today. My friends at EFI Source have made a new ECU. So, this is a prototype. It doesn't even have, this is like an inkjet label. This is not even uh, a release yet, but it's uh, one of the test ones that has been used and tested, and I have it apart, so I'm squeezing it gently. But this is called the Gold Light. The Gold Light. So you might know they have a gold box. MS3-based ECU that Mike has built from the ground up, circuit board and all. And they, for fun, and I might have suggested this, but we cannot assume that I'm the only reason for this happening. A lot of people have asked for a micro squirt version, you know, next. So instead of two injector drivers, wouldn't it be nice if it had a little bit more or etc. So this, Mike took an entire gold box and the gold box is a V10. It has 10 ignition and injector drivers. So what he did was condensed it down and put eight, since they rarely ever, actually the V10 guys for Dodge were frothing for it and then never used it. So it's one of those scenarios. It's like guys with S10s, when they prepay for turbo kits, they're, they're all on board except for when it comes time to hash out money. Anyway, you can O-ring this, you can waterproof it, you can pot it. It's already extremely weather resistant as is. It has onboard data logging. It's got an onboard battery, so it has an onboard clock. It can maintain the time and whatnot. It's got this fancy new boy connector here. Pretty awesome. And the circuit board is beautiful, as that's Mike's job. He does an incredible job. And they brought back the cool OG pinout on the back of the ECU. And this is the fancy new connector. So they are waiting for a lot of things to make it official, but it's kind of official now, being as that I told you about it. So this is a real thing. It's, this has a uh, micro USB built in. So pretty nice, pretty cool little box. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna put this on. I thought about putting it on the turbo truck but we might put it on a friend of mine named Corey Edelman that does transmission stuff and roundy round circle track stuff has a very uh how do we want to say he's lots of money into a dodge neon <laughs> let's say it that way as anybody does with this hobby it would be cool to put this on it has a stock ecu and it has an ms2 plug and play that's all batched out and some other things it would be cool to wire this in for right now this is just the eight foot flying lead that's labeled and ready to rock they are planning this is the plan mind you sell this ecu and a plug and play 24x 58x ls based plug and play harness for around eight nine hundred dollars that's the goal here and that would be incredible that would be sick it does, they wanted to, see there just wasn't the pin density obviously. They wanted to put a wide band on here, like one of those controllers that goes on here. And the issue was like, what if it has an issue or blows up or melts part of the board or whatever else. So their solution is they're going to, Zitronics makes a CAN bus wide band and you can also wire a wide band output directly into the O2 wire. But yeah, you could do either one of those. And that's it, I'm excited to use this. It's so light, I can't believe how small he was able to make an entire MS3 board this big. Absurd. This, here's a, here's a funny comparison for you. Let's keep... That's the entire ECU, and this is a Holly Can expander module. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. Can't wait, see how it does. Love my guys over at EFI Source. If you have anything you can think of that you would like to put a budget MS3 based ECU on that's also waterproofed, but you can take it apart and uh, you can do cool guy stuff with. I am not solid on pricing with like flying lead and everything else, but that's the goal is the eight to $900 range with a plug and play LS terminated harness, not flying lead. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of this. 
It's like it's been a long time and something like this is needed.